Today you're joining us in Keston, South London, and we're going to be taking you inside this stunning property behind me, listed for £2.3 million with Raphael from the private realtor. Now it's got five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and over 3,700 square feet of interior space, along with a 150 foot garden pretty special. We've got a wealth of period features inside and this property has an incredible history. We actually found out from the owner that William Wilberforce, the man responsible for the abolition of slavery in the UK, used to frequent this area a great deal. His close friend and the Prime Minister at the time, William Pitt the Younger, used to live in this estate, Holwood Park. This property is one of the lodges that makes up that estate, so we're going to head on inside now, head to the front of the property because we're currently stood in the garden and kick this tour off. You ready Jazz? Yeah, ready. Let's go. Now you join us outside the front of the property, we've got electric gates just behind me, allowing you access onto this drive. Plenty of space for vehicles here, and we've even got a massive oak tree out the front. Oh, lovely. We've got a double garage here, and just check out the front of the property. Looks so lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, wow. The sun's kind of setting now, so it's a great time of day for it. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's so symmetrical too. It is, isn't it? So much symmetry. Right, Jazz, I think we should head on in. Let's go. You're now joining us in the entrance hall. We've got this incredible mezzanine sort of void area above us with this light hanging down. Yeah, and it creates a real nice open feel in this entrance. Very grand. We've got the Christmas tree here. Yay. It is Vlogmas after all. The first room we're gonna take you in though is this kitchen. Now this is a newly designed kitchen and it does look absolutely stunning. We've got the floor tiles on the floor designed to look like wood. Love this marble kitchen island with the waterfall as well. Mm. It like goes all the way down to the bottom. We've got some great, Bespoke cupboards inside here behind these bar stools and these are pretty comfy, not yeah. your average bar stool. Love the lights hanging above the island as well. We've got the Kuka boiling tap here and a real modern convenience inside this kitchen. Now we've got the Miele integrated appliances throughout this kitchen and these are pretty special. They're actually Wi-Fi activated so that's you can control so cool. them from your phone. You can preheat the oven on the way home. Yeah. You put them up onto the drive. That's such a good idea. Exactly, right? We also have this skylight up above me. A stunning amount of natural light can come in through here during the day, but we also have a very well spotlit ceiling. Yes. Moving this way, we have a slow cooker underneath here, so that's pretty impressive. Love the brass handles through here. Mm -hmm. And this is a induction hob that is actually zoneless. Yes. So anywhere that you put your pan on top of this, it's heated. That's so it's cool. pretty cool, right? We've also got the Miele gas hob as well, in case you do want that. Nice to have both some great ambient lighting and the extractor fan tucked in there. Mm -hmm. The marble continues all the way throughout on the countertops and even on the splashbacks as well. Yeah, we've also got two dishwashers. Yes, it's always convenient, good rotation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have behind this pocket door here, a nice little utility room space, tucked out of the way where we've got an extra sink, the stone worktops, some nice messages, and a great little access out to the front garden. It is what it is. It is what it is. And what it is, is the utility room. <laughs> so now at this end, we have the bar set up. This is an awesome touch. I think every home needs a little bar set up oh, yeah. for entertaining. I love the mirrored antique splashback at the back of these bespoke shelves. Mm. They're looking beautiful. Oh, yeah, wow. and we've even got this kind of like gold brassy tap. That looks sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's another sink here, really convenient. We've got a wine cooler as well in there. Such good ambient lighting over yeah. there as well. Everything just seems like it's glowing. Yeah, it's amazing the, the contrast between modern and period features in this house, and it works so well. Yeah. So, speaking of which, I think we should head through here. As you can see, we stepped down into this fireplace here, one of the original features, so probably 200 odd years old. That's crazy, isn't Pretty it? Pretty impressive, isn't it? As you notice, the ceiling height is quite cozy. I believe the floorboards have actually been built up over the years and yeah. laid on top of each other. We've actually got a cellar underneath here somewhere, which is really cool and kind yeah. of spooky. Spooky. <laughs> Great sofa setup, and then the bay window looking out to the front. And we also have a study through here. Some great interior design. Great spot to get some work done looking out to the front of the property. Yeah. Yeah, even these period yeah. beams sticking through. Pretty impressive, so right? Cool, so everything yeah. past this point, added on, is extension. Yeah, it's quite cool. The owner was telling us how so many parts of this house have been added on at different times. You've got some in like 2014, some in 2020. Some in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. So we've got another study in here. Great for getting some work done. And I really like this little seat. Check this out. It's like a football. Oh yeah. Just yeah. like that. <laughs> 
great for uh, staying healthy while you're sat yeah. working at home all the time. I love the wall as well. Yeah, it's got some very inspirational and good advice in there. I might have to take some of that down and, and apply it to our business. Yes. <laughs> this central table really kind of divides this space up a little bit. We're going to head through into this lounge. And we've even got the fire on here, Jazz. Oh, nice and toasty, nice. super cozy. Hey, Jazz, we love this sycamore wood, don't we? Oh, yeah. We I do. believe that's what it is. It's a really striking wood with the mm -hmm. stripes. I love it when it's glossy yeah. as well, really amplifies the stripes. Very unique shaped sofa, this too. Yeah. So you can kind you know of, oh, wow, unique? that's comfy. <laughs> it's so low down. Do you know what else is a really unique shape? Me? The TV. Oh. Okay, I thought you were about to abuse me. <laughs> yeah, this TV is pretty cool. We've got the speakers actually inside of it. Never seen a TV like that, actually. It looks like square. We actually have access out to the back garden here as well. We are going to show you that at the end of the tour, so stay tuned because the garden is very impressive. Coming past this oak staircase, we do have a downstairs guest bathroom or WC powder room um, with some kind of flagstone flooring. So again, that's kind of contrast between the new and old. Yeah, I like the flooring in the hallway as well as soon as you come in. Yes. We've got underfloor heating too, which means toasty feet. Super cozy, right? A modern touch on what is traditionally an old feature. Mm. Yeah. So in here, we've got a very nice dim lighting dining area. Really cozy. Very intimate. This we've got place. a log burner in here as well with the coals running. I think that might be a gas one actually, but it's, it's very warm. Nice. But now we're gonna head back out up the stairs and we're gonna check out all of the bedrooms. Upstairs then, we have a great sized landing. We even have frosted glass here so the neighbors aren't looking in. That's a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. Normally you only see that in bathrooms. Love this. You can see where we started. Right, the first room we're gonna take you into is the principal suite, so follow me through here. Double bed in the center of the room, looking out over your gardens. Stunning garden there. I wanna take a peek. Massive of space. Oh, I love that upline yeah, on the trees. Right? We have double aspect windows. So although you are looking over your garden, you have that one as well, which means that south facing sun comes all the way in. Really nice. And then if we head through here, Jazz, we have the principal en suite. Now, I love the marble theme through here. We've got different style tiles with the same material palette. Loving these. They look and like then, brick style yeah, tiles. Yeah, aren't they? They're like marble bricks. What have we got through here? Oh, wow. So we've got a dressing room. A little walk in dressing room here. I'm going to head back out. And we're gonna go back down this corridor. Okay. We have an airing cupboard through here. Some great artwork up. And then we have another bedroom through here. So this is very spacious. Another double bedroom. Really unique and characterful features. Again, a view out to the garden. And then we have the ensuite through here. Some great tiling, loving those borders. We have a shower, basin, and a toilet in there again. Yeah, it's really well lit in. Oh, yeah, Jazz is just reminding me. <laughs> we have storage in here, so that'll work perfectly as a walk-in. Mm -hmm. It's being used for storage at the moment, but yeah, plenty of room for all your clothes through there. Tom? Yeah? I like the door stop. <laughs> the little duck. Right, if you think that's cool, wait till you see this bathroom. Follow me. Come on, I'm going to show you some, some real ducks. Look at this selection of ducks. Which one's your favourite? Leave down in the comments below. Personally, it's got to be this one for me. Look at the octopus duck. It's an octo duck. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But a great size bathroom again. You can see that roof style just kind of pitching down. We've got a bath in this one. And we also have... <gasps> love is being owned by a beagle. Jazz has a beagle, in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, I do. I love him. Okay, so to my right, we have another bedroom. I'm going to head through here. But we actually step down to this one. This Ooh. is one of the original features of the property. This is directly above that old period room we did show you. Yep. So yeah, this would have been here a very long time ago. Yeah, I love the colour scheme. Yeah, Jazz loves her greens and it works really nicely in here, doesn't it? Gorgeous bay windows. Contrasting well. all the reds and the sort of purples that we're yeah. seeing here, a very London theme. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I must say I love when people paint their radiators to match the wall. Yes, it kind of blends in, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one final bedroom to show you. Jazz is just backing up into it now. Again, with a really characterful shape of the ceiling, we have Two single beds here, but it would operate perfectly as a double bedroom. Yeah. And then we have a great seat here, which is going to need to be sat in. <laughs> Pretty comfy. comfy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. So now we're going to head downstairs into the garden and give you a little bit of a summary of that because it is pretty special. We also have a garden room as well, so we're yes. going to show you that. Let's go. Let's go.
In the back garden now, just come out of these triple sliding doors with the black frames, almost like a Japanese style with those horizontal frame on it. Yeah. We've got side access at both ends of the property as well. Loads of courtyard space here with this pebbled area. Steps up to the back garden where we have this 150 foot garden that we started the tour in. Wow. Just check out how much space there is here. We've even got some frosted grass. It is December, very relevant for Vlogmas. And while we're here, we actually filmed a tour at this property that you can see just in the background this morning. So if you want to go and see that, it'll be there. So click that. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> We've got great up lighting on these trees. Looks so cool at night. We've definitely got the right time of day for it. Yeah. And then we have this, this garden house summer room here. Wow, that's such a cute addition, like a good addition to the property. Yeah, it's, it's kind of set up as a little study area now, but it could be another bedroom even because it's got the ensuite in there as well. It's got yeah. the bathroom. So yeah, that'd be really convenient. Location wise, this property is pretty amazing as well. We've got transport links taking us into London really quickly. I believe you can get there in another 20 minutes from here. So that's super convenient. And yeah, that's about it. It's really chilly, as you can see by my, my breath. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this tour up. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we've got a new tour for you every day on the lead up to Christmas. So you can expect more. See ya.